Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question I got from one of my subscribers and here's a question if a messenger RNA contains 1 million nucleotides and the ratios of nucleotides are 30% guanine, 20% uracil, 25% cytosine and 25% adenine, how many times the sequence 5 prime G U U A 3 prime repeat in this messenger RNA? Some of you may think that in order to solve this problem, we need to use Chargaff's rule. According to this rule, number of zymines would equal to number of adenines and number of cytosines equal to number of guanines. And for example, if we have 20% of zymines, that means that we also would have 20% of adenines. And if we have 30% of cytosines, we also would have 30% of guanines, but this rule only applies to double-stranded DNA and we have single-stranded RNA and this rule doesn't apply to single-stranded RNA. Imagine that this is messenger RNA and what is the probability that we are going to get a sequence made of four nucleotides, which is guanine, uracil, uracil and adenine. For example, what is the probability that if we'll take random sequence and here we will find guanine. According to our problem, uh, the probability is going to be 30% or 0 0.3. So 0 0.3. What is the probability that, for example, in this second place, we will find, according to our problem, uracil. And probability is going to be 20% or 0 0.2. And next, we're also looking for uracil, again, 0 0.2 probability. And the last would be adenine and probability that we will take random sequence. And this is going to be adenine is going to be 25% or 0 0.25. So now we have to multiply all these independent probabilities and we are going to get 0 0.003. What does it tell us? This tells us that probability if we'll take a random sequence made of four nucleotides on the messenger RNA that this is going to be guanine, uracil, uracil and adenine. Probability is going to be on the scale between 0 and 1, 0 0.003. Or if you need an answer in percentage form, we have to multiply by 100 and we can say probability is going to be 0.3%. And what if our sequence is going to be not four nucleotides, but uh, actually messenger RNA would be made of eight nucleotides, then of course uh, our probability would be twice higher and would be 0.6%. And according to our problem, messenger RNA contains 1 million bases. That means that we have to multiply 0 0.003 by 1 million bases. This is the length of the messenger RNA. And our answer is going to be 3000. This answer tells us that if messenger RNA is going to be 1 million bases long, we can expect that such sequence would be found 3000 times. Or in other words, in 3000 different places along the length of this messenger RNA. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.